Hello and welcome to this computer tutoring tutorial. This time we're going to look at Excel. Now it's been a little while since we've looked at an Excel problem, but you know, no time like the present. Now this particular uh, problem is dealing with data validation and trying to stop people from entering duplicates. So say for instance, this is an example here of data tended and a student list here you can see. Um, so I've got uh, Stan Smith as a student attended on the 24th of July and then the 24th is Stan Walker. But the problem occurs, say for instance, if I go in here and I say, right, I want to now, and I get a bit confused if I type in 24th of the 7th, 2018, and I type in Stan Smith again, okay, I, I can do that. Now I've got duplicate data uh, and it makes a right mess of things. Uh, you get the idea. So what we can do is we can use data validation in combination with the count ifs to get this to work. And we're going to break this down. We're going to do it a bit at a time. So the first thing we're going to do is just explain literally how that count ifs statement works and how we can use it with data validation. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to type in here in D1 num duplicates. So we can see the number of duplicates there, just make that wider. And then we're going to just do the count if function. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit, if I can remember how to do that one there. There we go. So the way that this function works, it's basically equals count ifs. And the first criteria range I'm going to choose is this one here. So I'm going to choose from here down to here, like so. And then I'm just going to fix it with the dollar signs in here. That's great. And then I type in a comma. And if it's the same as the first. OK, then press a comma. And now I do my second range. So my second range will be from here down to here, B2 to B6. Press F4 to put my dollar signs in. Then a comma if it's the same as B2. I close off my bracket and I press enter. And then I can instantly see I have two duplicates here. And in fact, if I scroll this one down like so, I can just see, well, I can see how many um, uh, entries there are, or maybe say number of duplicates. Great, excellent. So what I would uh, then do is I can use this statement uh, to, let me just zoom back a little bit. So I can use this statement here, this count if statement in combination with data validation to ensure that I can't type the duplicates by checking to see if it's less than one or not. I'm not going to put the if statement here because I'm going to put it straight into data validation. And there's a few things you need to keep um, a note on with the dollar signs. And also at this moment in time, you can see, if I just zoom in a bit, that with this count if statement here, it's only looking at A2 to A6. I want it to look to all the way down to the bottom to A uh, over a million, basically. So that's what we are going to do. Oops. All right. All right. So let's just get rid of this column here. That was the demonstration column. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I want to apply this to these here. So I'm just going to hold down my shift key and press the arrow on my keyboard just to move that one to the right and then hold down control shift and the down arrow once and the down arrow twice. So it goes all the way down to row 1,048,576. So now I'm interested in data validation. So I've already got data selected. So let me just zoom in so you can just see that. So it's data. And if I go across to the right here, it's this little baby here is the data validation. So if you give that one a click, there we go. And then here's our data validation appears. So I'm going to allow and I'm going to put in custom because I want to put in a custom formula. And here's the custom formula I want to put in. So I'm just going to, um, it's going to be quite a longish one. So I'm just going to click on this button just here so I can just see the data validation. And then I will zoom in just a tad. Here we go. So you can see that and we can really concentrate. Great. So what we just need to do is equals count ifs open bracket. Okay. And then I'm going to use, um, my mouse and then I will click on A2, control, shift and the down arrow once and the down arrow again. So you can see that goes A2 to A1 
1,048,576. I then put my dollar signs in. The shortcut key for that is F4. Although I can manually click and type in dollar signs should I want to. I then type a comma. And if it's the same as uh, the first one here, which is A2. That's great. So what I need to do, because I'm going to copy this formula across, uh, so because I'm going to copy this formula across, I need to put a dollar sign before the A. So that it's always got it from the A column, so that the B column, because um, uh, will also have the same validation. Otherwise, if I click on B, it's going to be validating B and C, etc. It's all about absolute references. If you want to know more about that, then please see our absolute references or take one of our training courses. We do training courses around um, UK, south of England, London, etc. Um, have been up to Edinburgh as well. Sorry if you guys in the US um, have to wait a little while till we get over there. All right, then. Anyway, so let's just put click just before the A. Uh, let me just zoom in as well so you can see that. Uh, there we go. And then I should put the little dollar sign in front of the A. That's great. Then a comma. So now I can do the next part of it. So I'm just going to go over to this and choose B2. Control, Shift, Down Arrow. And then the Down Arrow again. So it's B2 to B1,048,576. Press F4 to put my dollar signs in. Type in a comma, click on B2, and then just make sure that you click on before B2 and stick the dollar sign in there. That's great. So almost there. So I'm just going to close off the brackets here. Now what I want to do is if this is less than, move my mouse out of the way so you can see, or equal to one. So if there's one, brilliant. And you know, as long as it's less than or equal to one, great, that's fine then um, we'll be able to enter data. Otherwise, we're going to have a message that pops up. So I'm just going to click on this drop down menu here. You can see the formula is quite big. So the error alert is a stop error. And then I'm just going to type in my message. Duplicates found. And then the error message just here. There are duplicate values, please re-enter there we go click on okay okay let me just zoom back so you can see there we go great so now uh, we've already got the values in there so let's see if we can test this one out there so we're going to type in let's do tracy waller again so if we've got the 24th of the 7th 2018 that's fine now if we type in tracy waller press enter now it comes up duplicates found there are duplicate values okay but if i click on retry and type in tracy smith not a problem at all um so there we have it duplicate values so if you've got anything out of this please make sure you like it be very polite of you <laughs> very much appreciated if you've not already done so please subscribe so you don't miss any of the training tutorials that we bring out regularly and just one more thing thank you so much for watching <laughs>